What's going on guys and welcome back to day 10. Today's gonna be a good day. Hopefully we're gonna see a little bit more production than we did on day nine. We got that rake wall over there framed out. One side of it's sheeted, we need to get that side stood, get the other side squared up, sheet that, and then get that up as well. That whole unit's complete after that. Today though, day 10, my pops and Keo are out on a different project for the very beginning of the morning. They'll be out here a little bit later. Fox and I are gonna work on getting one of these three by walls over here built right now get that thing squared up, get it sheeted, ready to stand. There's a brace out here that needs to come down. So we're gonna have to get up there and cut that. They're coming today to pour concrete. So that brace, I could just twist it and pop it off. Or is it SDF in there? It's not SDF, but I don't think they come out. Concrete guys are coming to do some flat work over here. As you guys can see, this little roof over here to the right side of me was cut when we did demo. They're gonna be pouring some flat work in here, putting an eight by eight post base in. We're gonna have a post going up, carry that post and beam over to that corner and then return back into the new building. We're not doing that for a while though. Just needed to clean that up and get that brace taken down to where they can come in, form and pour. So our plan for this morning, me and Fox are gonna get this little wall here knocked out. Small little guy, but it needs to get done. We have an eight by eight post there, a six by eight going next to it. Then our hold down, four by eight there on the end. Big old hold down out there as well. Now when you're building, you have to think about the roof at all times. This is a gnarly point load here. We have an eight by eight, a six by eight, and that carries the weight of that roof. We've got a gnarly girder going from here all the way over, landing on this three by plate right over here. So the weight of the girder truss that's gonna go right there to there is gonna be held from there and there. Always got to think ahead. But Fox and I are going to get this thing framed out. When we have a three by bottom plate like that, it calls out that all of our shear brakes have to be on a three by as well. Now the downside is the lumber yard wasn't able to get us three by, it can only get us four by. It doesn't really matter either way, but this wall in particular, since it's so short, we have a four by eight on the end, two studs, a four by eight, one stud, a four by eight, a six by eight, and an eight by eight. Not too many studs going in here, just a bunch of big material.
that. So now typically I would start at the bottom, work my way across, and come up to the top and do the top. Since we have a three by plater, 16s don't quite go all the way through enough to hold. So I've got structural screws that go from the bottom plate into the post and all of our 4x6. Therefore, I'm gonna get the top nailed off, toenail the bottom as much as I can, and then come through, SDWS the bottom, and it'll be good to go. So this is the wall we're working on right here, that 3 by plate. We've got two 6x8, one on each side of that 8x8 post there, referencing 44 on S4.1. If we go to 4.1, find number 44, corner post detail, we have our 8x8 post in the corner, 6x8 there, 6x8 there. We need two SDS quarter inch by 8 at 18 inch to 8x8 corner post all the way up that. And then our hold down goes on the outside of it there. Everything is pretty easy to understand once you get the hang of it. We're going to hop back to it though right now. I'm going to get this wall sheeted out after we get blocks done, get it ready to stand. Now this wall behind us is completely framed out. We're good to go. We're gonna go ahead and pull square right now. The way we do that is really simple. I haven't really explained it too much in different videos. We're going to hook from the same point on the bottoms and pull up to the same point on the top across from each other. What you're going to do is look for the same number and if you need to adjust, you adjust the wall. Make sure that the bottom plate is straight as an arrow. So we're gonna string line that bottom first, make sure we're straight, cross tape both ways, make sure our number is spot on. From there, you know that the wall is square. You can sheet it because once you sheet these walls, let me tell you, they do not move. You cannot rack these walls once they're sheeted. So you wanna make sure they're square before. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna pull from that bottom corner of the plate down there, right out to here. Fox is gonna pull from there, right out to the same spot on his side. We'll check our number, see what happens. First, we're gonna string this bottom plate. So he's 239 minus, I'm 237 and a half. We need that top to go to me, Foxes. A little bit more. Keep going. 238 and a half. I'm 238 and an eight, so we're looking for like 238 and 516. So I'm 238 and 516 right now. 38, 5, 6, Beautiful. All right. We're good to sheet.
So we got this wall behind me built. She's sheeted, she's nailed off, she's good to go. Get this thing stood later on today. Now that that's done, we're gonna fall back over to the walls that we built on day nine. So on day nine, we framed out this rake wall over here. We still need to sheet out this section here. I have a nine footer right there that needs to go right there. That outside section is gonna be left where when this wall gets stood, we can put that on and tie into that wall there. This one here can't get sheared because I can't get it to square up. That wall needs to go up to where I can move that over a little bit more. That'll square up then. From there, we can get this one squared up, sheet this thing, stand this as well. Overall goal for today is to get this thing sheeted, that stood, that stood. So I've had a lot of questions regarding our compressor setup on this build. Um, we have a five or 10 gallon auxiliary tank over there. And then that's ran with a 3 8 flexzilla hose, 100 footer, love that hose to a 10 gallon, 5.5 horsepower bored out Makita compressor. This thing does good. Eats a lot of gas though, it's the only downside. So I got this header going. Trimmers are both in, headers on top of it. Two of our top cripples are in. These braces need to come down in order for me to put the last two in and I'm not sure I wanna take those off quite yet. I have a decent connection going into the building right there but this place isn't tied in all that great. We've got that A-frame out there. But I'm not sure I wanna take these down. It's a little bit after lunch right now. Q and my pops just showed up. We're gonna hammer down you guys. We are going to get both of these rigs stood up today. So as I mentioned, we have to get that one that's already sheeted up in order for me to square up this guy here. I need a little bit more adjustment than I've got. Top needs to go over just a bit more. Once it does, we can sheet this out as well. Get this stood, tie the two together, and then frame the window opening that goes up here at the top. We debated doing all of this in one wall, but this would be the biggest wall that we have stood so far completely sheeted. 
And if you guys look at the way the ground is out there, it humps down and drops in. So he's already gonna be at a disadvantage with the lift on an angle like that. So we don't wanna attempt that. This way, it's nice and easy, two small walls. We'll make it happen, get it done. I am freezing my ass off, but I have a gnarly fever right now. I hate being sick. Throwing a jacket back on, we're gonna get to it.
it's the end of the day. We're completely cleaned up. Lifts are parked. Trailer is locked. Winery is looking beautiful right about now. So we finished up the majority of this building today. We still have some shear panel to do on the left hand side. For the most part though, this building is wrapped up. So we got this wall up behind us. We framed and sheeted this side on day nine. This side here got wrapped up today. In order for us to square that side up, we had to get this first section up. I needed to pull the top of that wall to the left. Couldn't do it when both walls were down. But that is all we have time for, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a big old thumbs up. The last couple of days have been kind of weird. We're back and in full force, though. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications by clicking the little bell icon to the right of it. I will see you guys in our next video. Bang on.